This technique is called sandpainting. It's usually done with sand, but in this case, we're going to use ash. Because we always have lots of ash, most of us don't have very much sand. So the first thing you do, you need, is Elmer's Cliff. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. It could be from a hardware store or a craft store. You open it up, and spread randomly. Don't even look. Just blow on the paper. I don't even have to look at it. You can take a little tissue or something and just spread it around. It's going to be great. Just trust me. Like so. Then, just sprinkle your ash all over the paper. All of it. Don't get it everywhere. That's right. Sprinkle it up. You never knew there'd be such a good use for all this ash, did you? And then, just kind of shake it up. See, that's what mine looks like right now. Shake it up. And you have your ash tray ready. You have no idea how cool this is going to be. No idea. Now, what you do, this is the last step is very important. Maybe the most important. Get a pen. Any kind of pen. And I want you to sign it. To sign the hell out of it. Here you have. Fantastic work of art. Get this frame. Get this frame. You can make copies of it, but it will, it will never be the same. It's got a reek of your pipe. And um, I promise you, no one else will be handing these around for Christmas gifts. No one else. And it's really a signature of your, your sort of style. Your style of glue spreading, your style of pipe smoking. It's style. Style and it's eccentric, but it is style. And um, after this, I'll show some works of art that have a similar kind of uh, look to them. Believe me, you you can be a master. It's also a sort of Rauschenberg. You can see things in here. Uh, your unconscious may be revealed to you. I see this sort of kind of dancing guy with his head down. Uh, but you see what you see. And that is pipecraft number one, sand painting or ash painting.